Hello, Manda here. Please help me with this question. Thank you. Let's check it out. It says, given the diagram below shows the hyperbola G defined by G of X is equal to 2 divided by X plus P plus Q, which is pretty much the generic form of a hyperbola. We've just been given the constant A. With asymptotes, Y is equal to 1, which is this line over here. And X is equal to negative 1, which is this line over here. The graph of G intersects the X axis at T, that little point over there, and the Y axis at 3, which is this intercept over there. The line Y equals X intersects the hyperbola in the first quadrant at S. Okay, so that is this point over here, and it's been given to us as having the X coordinate of 3, I'm assuming. Otherwise, that's probably just meant to be labeled S over there. Okay. Sometimes if you get a diagram like this, guys, with all of their lines and everything and the same color and it's really confusing, sometimes it helps to identify where your asymptotes are, okay? So obviously, my vertical asymptote is this one over here and my horizontal asymptote is that one over there. Y axis, X axis, and then our graph of G, this lovely hyperbola over here, okay? So, first question, it says, write down the values of P and Q. Now, if you saw our first question of the day, you know that P and Q correspond with the asymptotes because they represent points that the X value will never define a Y value for on the function. So, at X is equal to negative 1 is an asymptote, which means that P is equal to 1. Because if I had f of x is equal to a over x plus p. And let's say here we have the graph that x cannot equal negative 1. So if I had negative 1 in the denominator, to make that undefined, p would have to be the same value. So we would have to have 1 over there at p. And that would give us a denominator of 0, which means it's undefined. So p is 1. This is the opposite sign, but same value of that vertical, vertical asymptote. So P is equal to 1. Okay. Q is exactly that value over there. It is Y is equal to 1, so Q is equal to 1. Whoops, not 0, 1. Because remember, if you saw our first section of the show, we have 2 over X plus P plus Q. Because of the numerator being 2 over here, this section here can never equal 0. It can be undefined when x equals p, but it can never equal 0. So we will never have f of x equal to q. It is not possible. Okay, so that's one asymptote. The other asymptote is when x equals p and the graph becomes undefined. Okay, just another brief catch up on your hyperbola. Secondly, it says calculate the x-coordinate of t. Okay, so now we found that g of x is equal to, let me double check that it was 2, 2 over x plus 1 plus 1. 2 over x plus 1 plus 1. Okay, so now the x-coordinate of t, remember t is an x-intercept, so y is equal to 0. So we simply need to make our graph equal to 0. So 0 is equal to 2 divided by x plus 1 plus 1. So now all we have to do is solve for x. So we subtract 1 from both sides. And now we can multiply out by the denominator. So negative 1 multiplied by x is negative x. Negative 1 multiplied by 1 is negative 1. And that gives us 2. Okay. So if we add 1 to both sides, we're going to get that negative x is equal to 3, which means that x is equal to negative 3. And that makes perfect sense, because if you see here, intersects the x-axis in the negative x realm. This is where 0 is, and anywhere beyond there is negative. So, perfect. Now it says, write down the equation of the vertical asymptote, if the graph of the graph of h, if h of x is equal to g of x plus 5. This means that, remember, the plus 5 shifted left 5 units. So, 
The vertical asymptote was given to us as x equals negative 1. So if we shifted this left units, we would have to subtract 5. So if we shifted it, we'd have 1 to 3, 4. Somewhere along here is the new asymptote of h, and the asymptote, the vertical asymptote, would sit at negative 1 minus 5, because we're shifting left 5 units, is negative 6. Okay, so the whole graph would shift. We'd have the new graph sitting there, and the new, another new graph sitting all the way down there somewhere. Okay, remember, if you have in the brackets with x, it means it is a horizontal shift. It's going to shift either left or right. Okay, so make sure you remember that. Okay, so thank you so much, Nomonde, for that question.